real shit on the shelf. Cause the way the real weapons be real as hell. But I haven't seen the glory of the coming of the left. I can't do it by myself, so I'm asking for help. It's time to speak to you. Put the hip shit on the shelf. Cause the way the real weapons be real as hell. But I haven't seen the glory of the coming of the left. I can't do it by myself, so I'm asking for to Talking Money in the Morning Live with your main man, H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor to the black community, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur, where I do my absolute best to bring practical yet proven wealth building strategies to working men and women all over this great nation of ours. Truly an honor, privilege, and a blessing. Come to you live and direct from uh, the Black Wealth Movement Studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. Guys, uh, we are all about helping you build multi-generational wealth if that is your goal. Now, for some people, that's just not on the radar for them. And that's cool. This is the judgment free zone. We don't judge. If you ain't about that life, you won't get bashed for it over here. But if you are and you need a game plan, you need some tools, you need some coaching, you need some mentorship, you need an accountability team, you need a network to be a part of. And I want you to text Black Wealth Movement to 314-874-6887. Again, Black Wolf Movement to 314-874-6887. We will show you the game plan that we use to help you minimize your taxes, then take those tax savings and use those to eliminate your debt. Once you're out of debt, now you can talk about building an emergency fund, uh, investing, uh, and, and really growing a legacy. And I showed you via a presentation yesterday how to get double digit returns on your money and how little it effort it takes to build a hundred million dollar empire in three generations. Yes, less than 70 years, you can have a hundred million dollar empire. And you think about that, that means your family could spend $10 million per year and never have to touch the principle of a hundred million dollars. That's how wealthy people get wealthy and stay wealthy. You need to understand the rules of money and we will help you do that. All you got to do is text me uh, and we got you covered. Do me a huge favor. If you're checking us out on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, we are at 1980 subscribers. We are 20 away from the illustrious 2000 subscribers. So make sure that you are telling people about the YouTube channel. Even if you are a strong Facebook person, go over to the YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash financial health mentor and subscribe to the channel over there and help us reach our goal of 2000 subscribers. Super, super excited uh, about hitting that landmark. I, I mean, that's just something cool. That I just think that people uh, are liking and loving the content enough to want to subscribe and stay connected. So I just think that's pretty cool. Uh, also, you can uh, comment your name uh, and the uh, name of your business or brand and where you're from on YouTube. I can interact with the comments live the same way I do here on Facebook. Uh, and make sure you rate the show. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And you can hit the share icon on YouTube and share this to Facebook. Share it to Twitter. Share it to your favorite social media platforms and introduce the financial health mentor to more and more people. I believe there are tons of people who would love to wake up each and every morning. Tuesday through Friday with some positive feedback on how to build wealth, become a better entrepreneur and really just transform their lives. Uh, so go ahead and get your business names in. It's time for our business shout outs of the morning. And if you are new to the show, comment first time viewer so we can welcome you to the show uh, as well. So who do we have on this morning? We have SH&H. Income Tax Services in the building. 
Uh, we have uh, uh, Bob Crane, the alphabet man. Now, I am not a licensed and uh, certified financial educator or, or, or a personal, um, uh, what do they call it, financial advisor or a planner. Bob is, though. So if you want to talk to a licensed professional about your money uh, and some investments, he has all of the alphabets behind his name. Uh, to be able to do that for you. So inbox Bob, man, and set an appointment with the brother. Uh, he can help you get your uh, life together from a financial standpoint if you want to get into some investments and things of that nature. Um, who else do I see in the building? Uh, Future Leaders LLC, new committee, newly elected committee person, uh, Monica Allison in the building. Uh, my man, Joseph McKee, learn and earn coach from Cleveland, Mississippi is in the building and angel out of nyc repping my econ uh angel we got to get your own brand my econ is alvin and ivy's brand you got to get your own brand uh to rep but i love my econ just the same exodus house llc out of atlanta ga in the building uh t alicia is in the building smiley's daughter's food services uh out of uh hope uh tacoa Georgia, Wilder Wellness Solutions, helping people lose weight and get strong one smart choice at a time. I love that. I love that. Today's show is also brought to you by Monetize My Life Academy. For those of you who want to take your brand and your business to the next level, you need to check out Monetize My Life Academy. I have all the courses, ebooks, webinars, live training, coaching. You can get in our private Facebook group, ask me questions about building your brand, taking it to the next level. Uh, today we'll be doing some training on how to uh, uh, how to go pro in sense of stop using the Gmail emails and start using vanity emails and purchasing vanity domains using GoDaddy and how to use their email forwarding capability so that you at least can put your email will match your domain name. So, for instance, I just bought uh, the domain for the. Uh, financial freedom fighters giveaway.com so i can create an uh, email for people to get more information they can go to info at financial freedom fighters giveaway.com you see how the domain and the email address match that is a more professional look at the bottom of an uh, email or at the uh, bottom of a business card than having a gmail account so we'll be training on that today uh, and monetize my life academy it's five dollars for your first month try it out if you like it, you can stick with it. Then it's just $20 per month. But I will help you become a better marketer. I will help you become a better entrepreneur. Uh, but you have to be willing to invest in yourself, study some of the courses, tune into some of the live trainings, and let us help you. Lori from New York EEC in the building. So today we're, uh, we're wrapping up a series on entrepreneurship. Uh, Tuesday we did uh, things that entrepreneurs should stop doing. Yesterday, we did uh, <coughs> skills that all entrepreneurs should have. Uh, and today, we're doing tools and resources that all entrepreneurs should know about. So let me get right into that content for today. Uh, and by the way, uh, the website to Monetize My Life Academy is monetizemylifeacademy.com. Uh, and then there's a coupon code that you can enter. Uh, it is MMLA Trio. To get your first month for five dollars uh, and that mmla trial is all caps so uh first resource this is pretty cool now i'm i'm again you guys know that a lot of stuff that i do on this show is for me and i'm trying to get better and i just share it with you guys but uh so a lot of these resources are new to me uh, and and I, this is not a blanket endorsement of any of these tools, resources, these companies that offer these tools. Uh, I, I'm just going over a list that I found on entrepreneur.com. Uh, and hopefully uh, one or two of these you can add to your arsenal and become a better entrepreneur and streamline some of the things that you have going on in business. Number one is do. The name of this, this tool is do, D-U-E. Do is an online estimates, invoicing, and payments platform that can help an entrepreneur organize their uh, time through a time tracking tool plus automate numerous time consuming tasks. And entrepreneurs like to hear this the free 
platform offers estimate and invoicing templates, reports, database uh, for client and project information, automated reminders and acknowledgments, integration with Basecamp, and multiple payment methods. The name of that uh, uh, tool is called Due, D-U-E, like you are past due on your bill. Uh, that is one that I'm definitely going to check out. Anything that, that can help me become a better organized entrepreneur, uh, I am all for checking that stuff out, man, because it's like, whoa, I, I can get better organized and become even more productive. Asana is a free project management tool that allows teams to communicate without email in one central location. Because many entrepreneurs work with virtual teams, this is a great tool to stay in touch. Asana, A-S-A-N-A -A -A is the name of this tool. I'm not familiar with that one. I uh, never heard of that one. But, you know, if you are like me, I work with teams of people all over the country. Um, and this obviously uh, apparently allows you to stay in contact without having to email back and forth. You can be in one central uh, location and be communicating one with another as you're working on certain projects. Uh, and I think this is a good for anybody who likes me. I'm a solopreneur, but I don't work by myself. I work with a lot of entrepreneurs all over the country. Uh, I have graphic designers in, in one part of the country. I have uh, video editors in another part of the country. So this would be a cool tool to bring us all together. So nothing gets lost in an email. We just jump in and, and talk to each other in a central location like that uh google drive most people already know about this too but chromebooks and ability to convert and edit microsoft office documents make google drive a great way to collaborate so google drive is pretty cool if you guys are using that um i use it all the time because i throw videos and things in google drive that my teammates can then download and they can use those in their marketing uh that's a cool resource <clears throat> But a lot of people are familiar with the Google suite of products. And isn't it cool that Google gives you so many tools for free? It's crazy. So, so with Google, you literally have an unlimited supply of storage space. Because with Google Drive, when you sign up for a Google email address, you're getting, I don't know, what is it, 15 gigs of space with Google Drive? And if you fill that up, then you can just set up a new google email address and you got another 15 gigs of free space man that is just amazing but you got to be creative sometimes and learning how to use these tools and understand how to put them in place so number one was do number two was asana number three is google drive number four this is also a good one sound gecko uh -oh. sound gecko so what is sound gecko it translates online content like news and blog posts into an audio file this allows you to read any content and can help you with your business including articles on productivity sales and branding on the go that's pretty slick sound gecko so basically basically it will allow you to uh i guess go to a blog post like uh financial health mentor blog and you can uh maybe hit a button that says hey uh translate this and put this into a uh a audio drive audio clip and then you can just listen to it so that you don't have to read it and uh for me listening is better than reading um because i'm always on the go i'm always on the move i can always have my earbuds in i can be listening to stuff uh, more than I can be sometimes sitting still and reading, but don't take reading off the plate because you got audio books and stuff. Sit your butt down, get some quiet time and read, uh, especially if you are in a in the speaking world. One of the, the things that I do to help me stay polished as a speaker uh, and panelist is I read out loud all the time. And that helps you with your enunciation. It helps you speak long uh, sentences and long sentences and paragraphs without saying um a thousand times in between. And that's something that I practice all the time as well. 
I just say, okay, I'm going to hold a conversation for five minutes without saying, um, and I just try and try and try because that takes a tremendous amount of practice. Sound gecko, uh, G E C K O is sound gecko. Uh, another resource, number five, angel list. Now this is for you. If you're the type of person that's, uh, seeking funding for your business. Maybe you want to take a business public. Maybe you need some investors to raise $50,000 to uh, get a project underway. Angel List, if you are seeking funding for your business, Angel List is a great social network that can help you seek funding and make connections with those in your community. Angel List, A N G E L L I S T. So it's a social network of people who have gotten funds or who are seeking funding and they can put you in touch with some of the right people. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm not at that stage where I'm seeking funding for any of my projects or my businesses just yet, but it's good to know. Number six, one of my all time favorites, Fiverr.com. If you are not familiar with Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. If you need a logo, social media, cover photo, podcast, intro, website, content, and more, be sure to check out Fiverr.com. Sure, the gigs start at five bucks, uh, but that doesn't mean they are subpar. Look at reviews and actual Fiverr gig samples before deciding on a contractor. It is, the, the, I mean, yes, I have a graphic designer on retainer that does great work for me. Um, but sometimes I just go to Fiverr and get something done quick for 10 bucks, right? Get something done quick for, for 15 bucks. So if you don't have a designer and you need some logos on the fly and you need some stuff, Fiverr.com is a good source. And like the article says, you can always check on the person's reviews. One of the things I look at is they tell you how many jobs this person has done. I don't deal with anybody who doesn't have at least a thousand jobs under their belt. Then they have a thousand uh, jobs. Then they have to be five star. That's just that's just what I choose. So you can pick whatever. And then I use a thousand jobs, five star. Then I look at samples of their work. Then I look at some of the reviews or people saying they're having good interactions with these uh, people, even though they got a thousand jobs. They could have a thousand jobs. They could have 200 people who were dissatisfied, right? Fiverr uh, with a V, uh, Alton, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, two R's at the end, dot com. Really good one. Elance, I've been hearing a lot about this one for uh, years. I've never had to use Elance, but if you look for freelance um, people to, to do some writing, to do some longer projects with you, if you hire freelancers, then Elance is a good place. If you need a freelancer for a long-term project or something more extensive, uh, try Elance, a platform that allows you to post projects and find freelancers that have what you are looking for. So um, Elance is a good place that you can build networks and build a virtual team. Uh, say, for instance, uh, I was doing a, a reality show. And I need somebody to do the editing of that show for me. Well, I can put that job up on Elance. I can say, here's what I'm looking to pay for this. And people will bid on that job and say, hey, here is I'm willing to take this job on for you and work with you. And here's what I'm willing to give for the amount you're willing to pay. So you can build your virtual team. And if you don't have a team in 2018, Man, you are going to struggle as an entrepreneur, even though I can do a lot of stuff myself. Uh, the more I, I expose myself to um, other people and networks and I grow my brand, the more of a team I need because my time is in high demand. And when it comes to time as an entrepreneur, you want to stick to the things that you are a 10 at. You don't want to constantly. Can I do a flyer? Yes, but I'm about a four and a half, five at creating flyers. Sometimes a four and a half or a five flyer works. But when I'm trying to set my 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 
my standards as black excellence, then I need to hire somebody to do my flyers, somebody who's a 10 at doing flyers. So you don't want to try to do everything yourself. Early on when you're starting out, you might have to, right? Learn how to do a lot of different things. But as you start to elevate, you want to stay closer to 10 at the things that you're good at and bring in teammates uh, to help you uh, in the places that you fall short. Elance uh, is a place that you can go for that. Wix.com, Weebly.com, two free website platforms, very easy to build. If you don't have a website in 2018, uh, you have to take up internet real estate, right? You just have to have some internet real estate that you can call your own. And uh, having a, a website can help you do that. Wix.com and Weebly.com allow you to build websites for free. Now, they are branded at the bottom with these companies, but that's why they give them to you for free because it helps them get their brand out there. But they have templates and uh, plugins and things. You can make a very professional website for just uh, uh, for free. Uh, all you need to do is make sure that you have high resolution images that you're going to be using on your website to really make it pop and make sure that you have all of your uh, text proofread so that you don't put any mistakes up like I'm prone to do, man. I have there's so many mistakes on my website. It's not funny because, again, I, I'm, a, I'm a solopreneur. I do a lot of stuff myself. But now I'm at the place where it's time for me to hire a professional web designer and get me a nice, clean 2020 website design by a professional, right? But if you have to get something started, put you up a four or five page website so that you have a presence online, Wix and Weebly can do that for you. Uh, and, and it's basically plug and play. You can, all the templates that you need, everything is right there for you. Another good one, share desk or desk time. If you need an office or just a place to work for the day, Try share desk or desk time to find a co-working office or open desk that allows you to have office space without paying for an entire office. That's pretty cool. Uh, sometimes you need meeting places. You need a place to work. Uh, I know I run my business from my home, but every now and then it's cool to be able to get away from your home and go into an actual office space where you can get some focus time in and concentrate on doing some certain things at the house. I have distractions all over the place. Uh, my kids are about to get out of school for the summer. It's, it's, it's about to get crazy around her. So that's a good place. Share desk or desk time. Uh, good resources. Google now number 10. If you are an Android user, connect your Google account to your phone and take advantage of Google now which can tell you when to leave for appointments that are on your calendar, whether or not your flight is delayed or even new articles from websites you frequent often. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't have Google now, but I think I need it because I can use a little help with. Uh, so basically what it does is my calendar gives me a reminder. But when you are using Google now and you have the calendar, and you have your location and you have your GPS on, it gives you more than a reminder. It says, dude, you're 20 minutes away from this meeting. You need to leave the house now. <laughs> I need that. A uh, swift kick in the butt because I'm always trying to leave at the last minute. I'm always trying to time things per perfectly. Uh, but that one is, uh, it says, I'll look into that one to see clients. Uh, yeah, I think that one is pretty cool. Um, Share desk. But also the Google now, it, it, can, it can really help you with, with traffic and all that kind of stuff, because it will say, um, you know, your meeting is, you know, today's meeting is downtown. There's traffic. You need to leave an extra 15 minutes earlier. So I think that is pretty cool. Um, Google now and you hook it up to your phone, apparently in some kind of way. So I'm going to look into that one myself. Uh, TripIt Pro, for all of my people who are racking up frequent flyer miles like crazy, uh, I'm starting to 
to do a little bit more flying. I've, I've been I've, I've done more travel this year than I've done in my first 42 years uh, and my 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 last 20 years in business. I've done more travel and it's only going to get more intense. But trip it pro. If you fly or travel to a lot of conferences, meetings and investors with investors or clients or other events, trip it pro can help you stay on top of flight changes, frequent flyer numbers and more. Trip it pro. There is also a free, less robust version that you can use as well. But trip it or trip it pro might help you stay organized with all of your travel, which is cool. Uh, here is one that I'm going to have to look into. Uh, again, I'm doing more and more travel than I've ever done before. This one is called Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet. N-E-R-D Wallet. Uh oh, my bad, y'all. Mm. So Nerd Wallet offers an array of airline credit cards, which can help you accrue points to fly wherever you need to build your business. Put all your business expenses on a single card uh, from Dropbox subscriptions to, uh, to office supplies and watch the points stack up. So one of the things that I, I know a lot of wealthy people do uh, and a lot of business people, especially entrepreneurs, is they use certain credit cards for all of their expenses because they rack up these points they rack up these rewards so they ended up with if you're going to have to use a credit card anyway and you have the choice between two credit cards one credit card based on your yearly expenses will get you five free flights and the other credit card gets you nothing it just makes sense to use a credit card where you get the five free flights especially if you're an entrepreneur same thing i'm doing with my hotels i'm getting uh, i'm joining about three of my top hotels that i love to stay in everywhere we go i have to get on top of their rewards points and figure out okay how can i rack up these reward points and get some free night stays because while my business is growing i ain't there yet i need to be saving as much as i possibly can so nerd wallet uh and also look into the uh, rewards programs for hotels and it might just be worth it for you to stay at a particular hotel I love town place uh, by Radisson town places are or some of the coolest little spaces that I've ever rented to stay so now I have to get up become a part of their rewards program because if I want to keep staying here then I want you to give me some free nights uh, and then I will make that my exclusive a place to stay maybe with a couple backups in case I'm staying in an area where there is not a convenient town place location but that's that's one way that you can make sure that you're earning free rewards is to um, you know be loyal to one or two uh, particular places 13 audible and Kindle uh, unlimited Amazon's Kindle uh, unlimited plan and Audible allow you to listen and read several books from its services each month. Just like SoundGecko, it's another way to stay up on up to date with business, self improvement, and more. Uh, says, wow, I didn't mean to make that comment. My bad. That's all right. Uh, I've been laughed at before, uh, Giovanni. It's, it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so, Kendall, I believe everybody's familiar with Kendall and Audible. Uh, Here's another one. All conferences, lanyard, conference alerts, and confradar, right? Uh, one great way to build a good business is to meet other entrepreneurs and industry colleagues through conferences. There are several conference search engines available, but some work better in certain industries than others. So all of these are uh, search engines to find conferences in your industry where you can get out and meet people. Man, do I need this? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. Um, if you are a hermit crab like me and you love sitting at your house behind your computer, which I spend a, a large proportion of my day, to be able to go to all conferences or lanyard or conference alert 
and find out what kind of conferences are going on in the St. Louis area where other online marketers are going to be, where other financial educators are going to be, where other um, uh, life coaches are going to be so that I can build my network, get out of my comfort zone and start to network with more people. I know a lot of people on this line who are like that. You need to get out and get to some of these conferences and start meeting people in your neck of the woods and in your industry and developing relationships with them. So all conferences, lanyard, uh, conference alerts, and then confradar, confradar. So it's kind of like conference radar, confradar uh, is another good place. Uh, 15 is meetup. I think you guys are all familiar with meetup. 16 is Pinterest. Surprisingly, Pinterest can be a great place to find inspiration uh, for new products and upcoming trends. I am surprised about that. Uh, I have a Pinterest account. I don't use it. I don't pin uh, hardly anything. I have my YouTube videos automatically get pinned, uh, but that's the extent that I use Pinterest. But I never thought about it from a inspiration standpoint, right? So that makes sense. Uh, LinkedIn content platform. Now, LinkedIn has their regular platform for helping you connect with employers and, and uh, people who might be looking for work and uh, connect with other professionals, but they also have a content platform that allows you to submit content. Uh, and which is another way to build your brand. Once LinkedIn accepts your request to join its long form content publishing platform, you have free reign to contribute content as much as you want. While it's uh, the jury is out among marketers, whether or not Google will flag republished posts as duplicate content, it's probably best to post original. Because LinkedIn is already such a large platform, its content will get indexed faster and could potentially give you more visibility than your company's blog. So basically what LinkedIn is doing is giving you a blog space to provide content. And since it's associated with LinkedIn, which one is one of the top 100 web platforms on the planet, if you're writing good quality posts on their content platform, you have a better chance of it being found in Google uh, via Google search and being ranked on the first page of Google than most of you have putting it on your own Google uh, or, or your own blog. So I thought that's pretty cool if you're branded, especially if you like to write. I'm a video guy. I don't like to write, but I need to get content out. That's why I do videos all the time. But if you are if you are a writer, then you should be writing articles about your product services, your niche. And you can uh, subscribe to LinkedIn's content platform. And that's another way to get uh, your content out there. Who knows? Maybe your article gets picked up by Huffington Post or one of the other larger uh, networks and build uh, build your brand uh, that way as well. Contently uh, or contently, right? Uh, LinkedIn content is just one way to build your brand through content. You should also set up profiles for your employees on Contently, which automatically creates a writing portfolio for them based on the websites they say they write for. Right. So if you have uh, employees who are writing for uh, other blogs and things of that nature, it aggregates that stuff and creates a portfolio so you can check on their work. Right? I'm not sure how I would use that as an entrepreneur, uh, but if you have employees, you might uh, talk Walker. Talk Walker. Think of Talk Walker as Google Alerts, but better. How many of you guys out there use Google Alerts? I've been teaching this for, for a couple months now. I use Google Alerts every night. Google sends me an alert uh, about 12.06 uh, a.m. And it basically gives me a list of top blog posts and articles based on the things that I like to read and know about. And that gives me content to do shows about. That gives me content to do uh, posts about. That gives me articles to post on my fan page to keep feeding my audience. Google Alerts is pretty cool if you're not using it. But this one says Talk Walker is better. It offers more comprehensive results and more options that allow you to check for mentions 
of your company name. This helps with public relations and the chance to interact with people who are discussing your brand. So that's pretty cool that Talk Walker, I can have an alert set where they will tell me anytime somebody mentions H. Cortez or Financial Health Mentor or Monetize My Life Academy or any of my other brands. That's pretty slick. Because if you're mentioning my brand in an article, in a blog post, I might want to come read that blog post and connect with you. That's pretty slick. I wonder if it says uh, it alerts you or mentions via social media. Will it say every time my, 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 my brand is mentioned on Facebook, for instance, uh, Instagram, Twitter? It's called Talk. Walker. Uh, number 20, HAYRO, which is actually an acronym for a help a reporter out, is an email that goes out multiple times a day with requests from reporters for sources for their stories. This can turn into free publicity for your company. Be sure to respond ASAP as some requests can get competitive. So reporters send out email blasts when they're looking for content. They're looking for stories. Hey, looking to write an article on kid entrepreneurs. I throw my buddy Mikey up there and say, hey, here's a kid entrepreneur you need to reach out to. Right. They might be looking for sources or stories or help in a certain demographic or a certain uh, geographic location uh, where they don't have presence on the ground, right? So if something happens in your city, they might be looking for someone who is near the incident, near the story and say, hey, can you provide some insight? Well, that might be a good thing if your company is in and around that area. So you might be able to provide some source material for a story in exchange for a mention of your company or your brand. Pretty cool. Number 21, hello sign or echo sign. These are legally binding digital document signing services that allow you to get contracts, agreements, W-2s, and more signed quickly over email. It's called hello sign or echo sign. Basically, they're they are, are, are kind of the um, competition with DocuSign. A lot of us are familiar with DocuSign. So HelloSign and EchoSign are similar services if you need signed documents and they can get signed via email, you can use these services as well. Join.me, uh, going back to working with a, a distributed Workforce join.me allows you to share your screen with other with another user quickly for free. Uh, all you need is the free software and the others uh, other user can see your screen from their browser. If both of you have the free software, however, you can also um, uh, see control of your mouse to the other user, allow tutorials, customer service, and how to demonstrations easier than ever. So that's join.me. Uh, I know my man Evan Jefferson uses that all the time for a lot of his uh, conferences and his trainings. Uh, and then I think they're also recorded so you can archive those trainings as well. 23, Jing is a free screencast, screen recording, and screenshot software that makes it easy to record product demos, illustrative how-tos for virtual assistance or screenshots for blog posts, and product description pages gene uh another one is uh 24 press pass and just reach out if you're looking to reach out to journalists to cover your company product launch or other news these directories allow you to search for journalists by beef industry or region so basically you have access to a bunch of journalists who might be willing to publish your press release, who might be willing to do an interview with you based on your industry, your niche, your company, a product launch or something. So that's pretty cool. If you are trying to gain some press, 
then press pass and just reach out or some directories of journalists and they obviously have them uh, categorized by industry. So, you know, I'm about to release another book. So I'll be looking at some of these, uh, these directories to find uh, some, some good um, sources to reach out to, to do press releases and maybe try to get some interviews done uh, on the coming uh, release of the new book. Uh, and then number 25, blog dash, just like press pass and just reach out, but for bloggers. So blog dash allows you to connect with bloggers in your specific niche to review products. If you want to get yourself interviewed, if you have some products and services, then bloggers have a lot of reach. Their reach is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty targeted and niche down so I can reach out to bloggers who write specifically on credit repair and talk to them about my credit repair product and offer them some 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 incentives to do a story on me right I can reach out to bloggers who are writing specifically on financial education and how to build wealth right and and potentially entice them to interview me and get me some 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 publicity out there for my books and uh, get me some speaking engagements and things of that nature. So these are 25 resources, uh, a couple other resources that I use uh, all the time. Um, if you guys don't have a Zoom account, that is another virtual meeting uh, space, uh, meeting platform, and you can do um, uh, meetings for free for up to 30 minutes. Or for $15.99, you can do meetings uh, with no time restraint, up to 50 participants in a meeting. It is really, really, really uh, blog dash, uh, D-A-S-H, uh, Sandra was the last one. Zoom is a really, really good platform. I use it all the time. I used to use Google Hangouts, but Zoom has kind of become my go-to versus Google Hangouts. a little bit easier to use. Uh, you can screen share, uh, do presentations uh, between people no matter where they are in the country or in the world, as long as they have an internet connection. And then they also have a webinar platform. If you want to do webinars, you can. And what's cool is uh, that webinar platform, I think it's 50 bucks a month, but it allows you to go live and do screen shares via the webinar platform, which is also pretty cool. Facebook doesn't allow a lot of third party connections to go live through their interface but with zoom uh you absolutely can so that's been become my go-to for all of my meetings all of my presentations all everything when i need to connect with somebody virtually uh, i always do a quick zoom even i even treat it like a facetime call right um i don't i'm, I'm team android so i don't have you know facetime uh, and I don't like uh, Facebook Messenger for video calls because it, they're not always reliable. But Zoom is pretty stable. So if somebody wants to do a video call, I say, hey, let me see your Zoom link real quick and uh, we can make it happen. So it's absolutely free. Zoom.us. Uh, as long as you're, you're keeping your meetings to less than 30 minutes, if you need longer meetings or longer calls then you need to subscribe at $14.99 a month. So that was pretty much it for today's show. Uh, I hope I, I for, for a fact, have two or three of these that I'm going to add to my arsenal or at least investigate to see if they are what I think they are. If you guys want to check out this actual article that is on entrepreneur.com, all you have to do is search for uh, top 25 tools every entrepreneur should know about. Uh, and that's that's a, a pretty cool article. I didn't read all of the uh, details about each one of the, these things, but you can check that out for sure uh, and get all the details yourself. And plus, when you read the article yourself, it actually links to each one of these products so that you, it will take you straight to their website and you can you know check out do, for instance, if you want to set up an account, it'll take you right there so you can get that stuff done. So. Uh, this week was all about you becoming a better entrepreneur. Tomorrow is free game Friday. So we do free business coaching on Fridays. If you have not already um, entered to win one of five free giveaways that we're doing tomorrow night, 
you could be missing it if you don't have your share link and you haven't shared to refer the contest to other people you could be giving yourself a greater chance to win because here's what we have i have five u.s destinations that i'm giving away trips to uh you can pick one of these five uh vegas orlando branson missouri gatlinburg tennessee or williamsburg virginia three night stays right uh all you got to do is enter the contest then you can share the contest and invite other people to enter if somebody that you invited to the contest wins you also win if every time you share and somebody else enters the contest you get an extra entry yourself so if you enter the contest that's one if you have 10 referrals to the contest that gives you 10 more entries also the potential for one of those people to win and you still win what i'm doing is using these tools these giveaways to get people to promote positive financial education and wealth building articles and things of that nature we've got to continue to build our financial iq so yes i'm building my brand but my brand is financial education so when you share my page you like my post and things of that nature then you have a chance to win some of these free contests also if you are an entrepreneur and you want to get your product or service in front of my audience then all you have to do is inbox me and you can come on the show live tomorrow at 8 p.m this is the evening show 8 p.m and help me give away some of these uh trips and you get to promote your business and your brand uh, i'm anticipating anywhere from 1500 to 2500 live viewers i've got uh the empowerment duo um uh brian keith and lisa santiago mcneil coming on um uh to help me i've got uh larry leonard uh founder of uh tesha water uh coming on he'll be uh, uh talk, giving us some updates on where tesha water is as they are making their bids uh for their ipo uh, and expanding their brand uh i'm i'm pretty sure my buddy mikey uh the kid who knows the biz is going to be on to help me with some of these giveaways so you can uh, be a part of this show uh, the cost is just fifteen dollars but you get five to seven minutes to promote your business and or your brand uh, and then uh, help me announce one of the winners so that's just another way cost-effective way for you to do some branding and some marketing uh, to get in front of an audience that is pretty serious about black economic empowerment and they want to spend money with uh, other black owned uh, businesses and entrepreneurs so inbox me if you're interested in that uh that's it for today's show i am your main man h cortez the one and only financial health mentor to the black community everybody's favorite fatherpreneur until i talk to you the next time i want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it but more importantly you deserve to do it each and every one of you peace out y'all <laughs>